Wask is an offline speech recognition toolkit that enables real-time transcription of spoken audio into text. It supports 20 plus languages including English to French and from Chinese to Arabic and various other from across the globe. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video we are going to install this Wask locally and I will show you how this works and we will be using various languages. We will just pick few of the um, main ones and then we will test it out. So first let's get it installed and then I will talk a bit more about this. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM but it's a very lightweight library. I don't expect it to be using uh, even any of the VRAM so you can in my opinion run it on CPU. So first up let me create a virtual environment with Conda and if you're also looking to rent a VM or CPU or GPU on very affordable price you can find the link to their website in video's description and I will also give you a discount coupon of 50% for a range of GPUs. So my environment is now created. And now let's install the wasp. And the good thing is that installation is just this pip command. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Everything is installed. Now WASP provides different models for every language. So I'm just going to download the models here. So you can see that first I'm downloading this English model. So let's wait for it and you can find these uh, links in their github repo and i will drop the link in video's description while it downloads let's talk a bit more about this wasc and what exactly um, is happening here so as i said it's an offline speech recognition toolkit unlike cloud-based services it runs entirely on your local device without even requiring internet connectivity once you have downloaded the model and that makes it really ideal for privacy sensitive applications edge computing and environments with limited bandwidth it also uses all of these relatively small language models around um, you know 50 to 100 meg each while still providing continuous large vocabulary transcription with zero latency streaming capabilities and people have even run it on raspberry pi so it is quite interesting it also offers you uh, programming language bindings for python java node c sharp c plus plus rust and go you can even create iphone or android apps with it so if you're looking to build a chatbot smart uh, chatbot uh, smart home devices some subtle and subtitle generation system you can easily do with it this tool kit has been built on the KLD speech recognition framework and you can also do reconfigurable vocabulary speaker identification and it can process both pre-recorded audio files and real-time microphone input which you can generate quite easily okay so let's go back so english model is downloaded let me download the rest of the models i will just pick maybe five of these models okay so you can see that i have downloaded and unzipped few of the models there are also available if you check the repo quite a good collection there so let me now take you to my vs code and i will show you how i am going to test this out also i already have some of the audio files in few of the languages um, so i'm going to test it out on few of them in the respective language and if you are that language speaker please also help me out in verifying in the comments so this is a sample code which is going to test this wasc it begins by importing all the libraries then it scans a directory of multilingual audio files which i earlier showed you where i have all the audio files and then from there 
um, it automatically converts any mp3 file to the wave format that wasc requires also make sure that the audio file is 16 um, kilohertz mono and 16 bit pcm it also uses ffm pack to do that conversion if it is uh, required and then it systematically loads each language specific wasc model uh, for english french german spanish and arabic and then processes a corresponding audio file through the speech recognition engine for each test the script feeds audio data in it in the chunks to wasp recognizer collects partial and final transcription results and displays detailed information including the detected text processing line audio properties and success status so let me take you to my terminal and i am going to uh, run it from there so let me run this it is going to load the models and it is going to pick up english so you see that it has loaded the english model here it is doing the transcription while it runs let me also show you if it is consuming any vram nothing it's all running on cpu it has already done the english you can see how fast that is even on cpu which i will show you configuration shortly so while it does that you see this is the english one and maybe i will also play that audio file for you in a bit let's first um, get it done so it has already done this uh, next language i think that's french i believe and then it is talking it is doing the arabic there you go so english french and arabic it has already done and it it is also showing us some of the stats plus it also saved uh, some of the converted audios which is converted to make sure it is was compatible here so primarily uh, it does the transcription in a very very fine way as you can see here you can also check out um, the results here so let me maybe go and open this file just to see what it put it in there so this is a text file which it has generated so let me open it and take you there so this these are the tests so this is a whole transcription which you can check out from um, here so let me now first play the english file then i'll play the bit of a french and then arabic audio file which it has transcribed and then you can also confirm so i'm going to play it in the browser so first one is english happiness is a fleeting feeling that can be found in life's simplest moments a warm conversation with a loved one a beautiful sunset or a good cup of coffee can instantly lift our mood. It's a state of mind that can be cultivated through gratitude, mindfulness and self-care. By focusing on the present and letting go of worries, we can unlock a more joyful and fulfilling life. Yeah, pretty good. I would say let's do the French one. And if you're a French speaker, please advise us. Le bonheur est un sentiment fugace qui peut être trouvé dans les moments les plus simples de la vie. Une conversation chaleureuse avec un être cher, un magnifique coucher de soleil ou une bonne tasse de café peuvent instantanément améliorer notre humeur. C'est un état d'esprit qui peut être cultivé par la gratitude, la pleine conscience et les soins personnels. En nous concentrant sur le présent et en abandonnant nos inquiétudes, nous pouvons déverrouiller une vie plus joyeuse et épanouissante. And now let me play the Arabic. في الصحراء الواسعة وجدنا واحة جميلة مليئة بأشجار التمر والنخيل حيث يمكننا الراحة تحت ظلالها الباردة. So pretty accurate I would say but let me know if you are that language speaker and you can see that it supports more than 20 languages which is always a good idea and the best thing is that it is quite flexible you can integrate it with a lot of programming languages so that's it if you like the content please like the video share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for all the support